brother. Life yeah. is really, really short. short. And everybody is going to take their time to have to be buried. And, and, and uh, you never know when. It can be right now. It can be at the end of the show. I mean, so time is so short, man, that uh, I've really learned a lot in the last 15 years of sobriety. Because when you're so sober mind, you think you look at things a little different than you would if you were intoxicated in any in a kind of way, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. And, you know, I, I don't want to start off with a, with a bummer, but to, to kind of start off, you know, obviously recently you've, you've had a, a smack in the face of life with, with the loss of your son, Austin Dundee. Um, Very much. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, obviously I, I sent you a message, man. I'm very sorry, you know, that that happened. I can't imagine because I have a son and I can't imagine losing him. So I, I don't even know how to put it in words, you know, I, I, you know, Jimmy, I, I don't, I don't know how to put it in words either. I, it, that's, I, I try to tell my children now and, and my grandchildren because out of something, such a bad tragedy, such a good thing has came about because it's bonded all my children. It's bonded no. my grandchildren with us. It, it's really, it's really gave a perspective on, wow, life is not promised for nobody because everybody in the family, you know, you you expect you're supposed to bury your parents. Right. You're never right. supposed to bury your children. And it's just, it's just so, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, and he's a Dundee too. So he's just like me. We butted heads. We've gone a year and a half, two years without speaking. We've, you know, it's one of those but 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 the, he came to my house just a few months ago and we spent all weekend together and you know and you know and, and he knew i loved him and, yeah. and you know because when, when you're when you're the son of an entertainer well any entertainment a rock band a movie star whatever it may be when that when that entertainment person is down and they're entertaining the children i guess they would feel left out because my dad was an entertainer and i right. felt left out a lot of times you know because yeah. you can, my dad couldn't come to the hospital if i was sick because he had to go to memphis and he had to go to louisville and he had to go to evansville because the show must go on and that's what feeds you you know what i mean right, and so right, it, exactly it, yeah. it's such a lonely world in a sense but also you you as as the old dude haystack said one time he said i, I he said I, i'm surrounded by people but i always feel so lonely yeah. yeah i mean it's so true because yeah. you, you know you everybody in the world just thinks your life is whatever they think it is and they think it's so great and but they don't ever think of the sacrifices in the children at home and the wives right. and the women and you know, and, and I, but 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 all I know is, man, that uh, if you got any kind of beef with any family member or anybody that's in your family or in your life, you know, because family don't mean blood. That just means people that are in your life that are there for you when you need them. Yeah. Right. You, if you got a little problem with them over some dumb shit like some money or just, you know, go fix it, man, because right. life is so short, bro. And this really has opened everybody in the in the Dundee clan's family. It's opened our eyes to, wow, man, life, life is just so short you know you know i mean i, I buried my brother-in-law bobby i buried my sister yeah. i buried my mother Mom. my dad had dementia all that is it, that's okay because that's kind of how it's supposed to be they were all older and they've all lived their life but to bury a child it's just i don't i don't know man i don't even know there's no words to tell somebody how how it is unless it happens no. to you and i hope it never happens to nobody because it's the worst it's the worst thing in the world bro it, yeah. it, it's just it's not meant to be man it's, it's just yeah. not something we, we are we are our body is programmed to do Man, yeah. my jaw hit the floor, brother, and I, 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 I just felt so sorry for you, man. I was like, golly, you know, here I know because I've heard and I, I know, you know, I, as everyone knows, I've said it a million times. I'm the co-host of Wolfie D's podcast, so obviously Wolfie D's co-host is going to know a lot about Jamie Dundee too, you know. And when because, it comes I down mean, to you, Wolfie, you know, yeah, I mean, if, we, if you talk about Wolfie, you talk about me. If you talk exactly. about me, you talk about Wolfie because we right. did it together. We were there yeah. at the same time. We did it all together. Yeah, your brothers for life. And, yeah, I had the eight hundred dollar tab bill and challenge. Me, and all, that was all me by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, again, you know, massive condolences from ours. Yeah, man. You, you, yeah, you, man. You know, thank, you, thank you, man. You know, here's the thing. It's one of those. It, 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 he's got an eight year old daughter. My grand, my granddaughter. He's got a five year old boy and a four year old. And it's just so. It's just one of those things. And, and listen, I'm not. I, the autopsy ain't back, but but I'm no idiot. I'm a streetwise dude, and I know that what killed my boy was fentanyl, and I know this in the bottom of my heart. And when that autopsy comes back, that's what it's going to say. And most people would be ashamed of that, and I'm saying this to tell most.
Don't do fentanyl, man. Don't do, right. you know? In my in our days, listen, cocaine couldn't kill you, bro. You could snort all the cocaine you wanted, and your nose would just block up, and it, it wouldn't kill you. But the stuff today, the street drugs of today, they're they're right. they're homemade, and they're just I don't understand, man. It's a fifty fifty shot when you yeah. do it if you're going to live, man. And right. then, believe me, if it was a fifty fifty shot, I was going to live or not because I love me and right. I really want to live a long time. I would have never got high and i can say that 100 percent. but yeah. nowadays i mean it's just it's crazy because they put fentanyl in these pills and they got pill forms and they make it and my boy probably thought he was doing a lower tab that's no joke right and and, yeah. and you know he was out of a rehab he had been clean for about a year and a half and so and and and, and bam they found him on the floor in the bathroom with the shower running so yeah. my guess is he came home he got him whatever he was going to do he did a little bit and it was a little bit was too much man so i'm just yeah. telling people just i mean it's crazy but you can't tell nobody nothing. People are they? They you have to learn the hard way, and this right. is really a hard, hard way to learn. For real, it is. It's yeah. terrible. I wouldn't wish it on nobody, man. Yeah. Well, and and I mean that 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 is so true. What you just said. If if people could learn from other people's experiences, it would be an easy world, man. You know what I yeah. mean. Very, very much so. If yeah, that's right. Because here's the thing: we as drug addicts, or we as whatever it is, we, it's not going to happen to us. Right. That happens right. to everybody else. Like I right. told, I told Austin's mama. I said. This ain't how our story's supposed to end, right? You, you right. know, th- th- that's everybody else's story. That's not. There, listen, if they would have said Jamie Dundee was found dead, oh, deed or something, the whole world would have went, well, no shit, right? You know, just like just like the crocodile hunter, we wanted him to get eaten by a crocodile. He wasn't supposed <laughs> to die by a, a, a thing off of a stingray. You know what I mean? Right. It just don't, right. it don't it don't go. It don't fit the story, man. Right. And so it's just it's but but see, I've, I've, I teach my kids and my grandkids. I I, I don't ever want to mourn death. I want death to celebrate because if you're a believer, then he's gone on to better things than this shitty life, man. Right, you know, right. but if you're not a believer, then still celebrate the good, celebrate the happiness, celebrate the fun, because we all, every single person on this planet has to die, bro. Yeah. yeah. And so, there's no, there's, so to me, you should celebrate it. You should say, this is, listen, at my funeral, I want people drinking. I want them smoking pot. I want them jamming on Kit Rock. I want the jelly rolls. <laughs> I want struggle. I want, I want my boy, Easy Jesus, Alan Cole up there playing the guitar. I want, uh, I want it to be celebrated and all the fun. Cause I had a lot of fun in my life and I want my funeral to be fun. I don't right. want a bunch of people sitting there mourning and crying and looking over my body. I want yeah. everybody there saying hell yeah Dundee he didn't give a shit anyway rock right. on here's a beer my boy you know what I right. mean I just it's just uh, I, I, we all have to take our turn and so it's just I guess those that are left behind are the ones that suffer because the one that's passed away has gone on to better things man Is you know right. if you're a Christian and a believer if not then he's gone on to whatever it is you believe right yeah well you know Wolfie and I have a saying together that we think you'll outlive us all though Jamie <laughs> it'll be <laughs> and, and, you, you know what? And that's funny to say but, but that's usually you know uh, I, I've always lived my life for Jamie Dundee first and foremost now yeah. that I'm a grandpa which I didn't sign up to be I didn't sign up to be the responsible one I did not sign up to be, I didn't know it was coming. I didn't never, ever thought about the day when I, you know, in life, we, we everybody goes to their grandparents' house if they need something or want something, and their grandparents always give it to them. And I've never, I didn't sign up for that. When did I become the, the top, you know, I'm the grandpa, I'm the oldest in the family, I'm the one that's supposed to tell everybody right from wrong. Well, I don't know right from wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know what to tell my grandkids <laughs> and my kids, but I do know to tell them that if you live a good life, good things come to you. I believe in a karma life. I believe in a karma world. If you wake up right. every day trying to do karma, you try to do bad conniving, scamming shit, then that's what comes back to you, man. If you wake up every day and just try to get by and survive and just do what you feel is the right thing to do, then I believe that that's what comes back to you, man. I really do 100%. Yeah, I think there's something to that for sure, man. 